Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a succulent cake. Don't forget to order your kits from CandyLandCrafts.com for this class and many others. So for today's class, you're going to need three chocolate cakes, a cake board, a small offset spatula, your buttercream, uh, a bench scraper or a cake comb, with a, whichever you have. You're going to need a serrated knife if you don't have a serrated knife and you have one of those cake tools that like saw the tops off to level your cakes that works um, you're also going to need a large um, leaf tip this is tip 114 a large star tip this is tip 829 a large rose tip this is a bigger version of tip 104 if you don't have the big one that's fine you can use a smaller one and a small star tip and you're gonna also need green gel food coloring, brown and red. That's to make the bottom part of the cake look like a pot color. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna level our cakes. So take your cakes out of their bags and you see how the cake has the hump? We're gonna just wanna take that hump right off. So using my bread knife, make sure you hold your knife the correct way. Don't put your finger out. More likely you could slip and cut yourself. And you're going to want to hold your knife um, right at the side of the hump and just move your hand and your turntable. Don't move your knife. Don't saw it through. Just have your turntable do all the work for you. And you're just going to gently turn. Turn. Just keep turning as your knife glides through the tops of the cake. And there's your hump and don't throw these away save these you can use these to make either little cake cups cake pops whatever save the humps and then just finish leveling off all your cakes the next thing you're gonna want to do with your cakes after you level them is you can put simple syrup on your cakes so you just put a little simple syrup all over each of your cakes this helps keep them moist and they don't dry out especially if you over baked your cake or something having a simple syrup on top of your cake really helps simple syrup is just equal parts water and sugar put it on the stove you don't want to bring it to a boil you just want to warm up until the sugar dissolves put it aside wait for it to cool store it in the refrigerator and you're good we're going to fill our cakes next so you're going to take your buttercream out of the container and you're just gonna you're gonna mix it until it's nice and smooth you just want to even it out and also if it feels a little stiff um you could also add cream just to loosen it or water, whichever you prefer, because sometimes if your cakes are really moist and soft, it could rip the cake up while you're trying to level it. Totally your preference, whatever you feel. So you're just gonna loosen it up. And then what I like to do is with my small offset spatula, I'm just gonna pick your first layer of cake up and you're gonna put a little dab on the bottom. This just helps Hold your cake in place so it's not sliding all over your cake board. And then I put a dollop of frosting. And using my small offset spatula, I go like this in this motion, back and forth with my wrist. You push it out to the edges and then using your cake board, you're going to spin it, your cake board, sorry, turntable, <laughs> you're gonna spin it so that it's nice and level. So I'll show you. So you're gonna push the icing back and forth, back and forth. And then once you have it out to all the edges, the middle of your oh, set's gonna hit the cake and you're gonna slightly tilt it up towards yourself. So if like this is your cake, it's gonna slightly tilt and you're gonna spin the turntable. Don't move your hand, don't move your wrist, just the turntable gives you a nice, flat, even surface. And then you're gonna put your next cake on top. And then you're gonna repeat and do this. Once you put your top layer on, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crumb coat our cake. What that means is we're gonna catch all the crumbs that could possibly fall off your cake and stick them to the side. And then what we're gonna do is we'll refrigerate your cake, okay? You're gonna wanna refrigerate for at least 30 minutes and then we'll do our final coat. Um, I'm gonna move the camera down so you can see how I crumb. Okay, so now we're gonna crumb over our cake. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is you see all the excess icing that is sticking out from your layers. You're just gonna go 
trying to make sure you see it. Okay, so you're gonna go back and forth and just push it in. We just wanna catch all the crumbs with this. So you wanna make sure off your spatula, you're scraping it into a separate bowl because you see all the crumbs that come off. So you want the crumb icing not to mix with your good icing. And then also anything you scrape off, we can use also to crumb coat the rest of our cakes. So this doesn't need to be a thick layer of icing, just a nice thin layer just to catch all the crumbs. So after I push in the sides of the excess icing on the sides of my cake, um, I just take a little bit of icing, put it on the top of my cake, just like we did with the layers. I'm gonna go back and forth, just catch all the crumbs. It. And then again, scrape it in your crumb coating bowl. And just go back and forth. Catch all the crumbs you can. And then also this is where the um, cake comb or the bench scraper come in handy. So you're gonna hold it against your cake. And you're gonna spin. And this also just helps spread the icing all around. And get a nice crumb coat on your cake. You see all the crumbs that get caught inside the icing. That's what you're looking for. nice thin layer. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator and make sure you refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes. Okay, so while you're waiting for your cake to finish chilling with the crumb coat, we can make our um, buttercream clay pot color. So start with a drop of brown and a drop of red. Also, you can make this pot any color you like. You know, total preference, it's your cake. You do what you like. As you can see, it's just one drop brown, one drop red. All right, so when you're done with that and your cake's chilled, you can move on to the next step. Okay, so once your cake has cooled, um, we're gonna <clears throat> ice it now in that clay colored buttercream or whatever color you're making your pot. So we're not gonna actually ice the top of the cake because we're gonna wanna make it look like a pot. So we don't need to. So what you're going to do is take your small set spatula, you're going to take big globs of icing and just push big globs all around the sides of the cake. Just globs at a time, back and forth. Don't worry about smoothing it out and being perfect right now. Right now we just want to get all that icing around your cake. Back and forth with your wrist. Keep going all around. Tops. Again, don't worry about it being perfect right now. You just want to get the icing all around. Oop, sorry, got some frosting on there. Um, if you do get it on top, don't worry about it because what we're going to do is um, with the humps that you cut off your cakes, we're going to crumble them up to make it look like dirt in the pot. So just go back and forth. All the way around. Taking your cake comb. Let me see if I can, here we go. Okay, so you're gonna lean it against your cake like that for 
are facing you, so if you can tell. And then you're just gonna keep spinning. And then make sure to wipe off any excess that you pull off into your icing bowl. And then keep going around. Just keep going, get it as smooth as possible. If you're having trouble and say when you're going around you get any pockets like that you can try going around again if that doesn't work just take your small offset spatula and just fill it in with some extra icing and you can also warm up your so any excess frosting that you may get from when you're going around your cake you can just pull into the center so using your small offset dragging it towards yourself Pull it in, scrape it off, turn, pull straight in, scrape, turn, pull straight in, scrape, turn, pull straight in, scrape. Just go all around your cake so you can get rid of that lip that may be there. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do for our um, cake for the clay pot effect is we're going to make a band around the top so there's two ways you can do this you can do it by just putting the buttercream around it or you can take a pastry bag this may make it a lot easier for you you're gonna want to take a pastry bag and fill it with some of your clay colored buttercream or whatever color you color your top you're gonna put it in your pastry bag These down. And then you're gonna want to cut the tip pretty wide, not <clears throat> too big, but the, about the size you would for the top. So I'm probably gonna cut about right. You see that? There we go. Maybe about right here. See, nice kind of big hole. Okay. And then I'm gonna hold the pastry bag straight up and down, parallel to it. You can see. Here we go. Okay. And I'm going to squeeze right at the top, keeping constant pressure. Take your time. There's no rush. You want a nice thick ring of buttercream around the top. And you're just going to keep going all around the side. And then when you have that, you're going to take your small offset spatula <clears throat> and taking your time, and you're going to go around the cake and smooth it out the best you can. And you start to get that top of the lip look on, that you would on a clay pot. And if that happens, just push it, straighten it out. It's okay. It's only buttercream. It's not the end of the world. You just do the best you can. And then you can just go around. Straighten out wherever you think it needs a little bit more. A little bit less. And then I take my small set and go around the bottom. Kind of even it out. Clean it off. And then you get start to get to see the start seeing the pot shape. 
for the top, you're just gonna wanna gently go around and pull that buttercream in. Make sure your spatula is clean, it helps. Gently try and make it as flat as you can at the top. Don't worry about being too perfect. We're also gonna put dirt on the top of your pot and then also we're gonna be putting all the succulents. So I'm gonna actually pop mine in the refrigerator for a little bit and um, feel free to do the same. Great. Okay, so using the humps that we saved from our cake, you're gonna just take a couple and you're gonna crumble it you're just gonna crumble it into little bitty pieces. Make some cake crumbs. Cake crumbs. This is gonna be the dirt for the top of the cake. So my cake right now is in the fridge. And while it's in the fridge, I'm gonna prep the other, the dirt. And then also I'm going to pipe out a couple of the succulents for the top because it's going to be kind of hard to pipe a succulent right on the top of the cake especially like the rose looking one so we're going to pipe that and put it in the fridge or freezer to harden and then we can pick it up and put it on top so in the meantime just crumble up some cake crumbs for the dirt for the top of your pot okay so the next thing you want to do is dye some buttercream green can be all different colors. I'm gonna do a dark green, a light green, medium green, whatever you would like Ugh, your succulent to be. So then you're gonna dye them. So now that I have my green colors, um, I'm gonna do the giant star tip probably with the dark green and I'm thinking the leaf tip here with this slightly less dark green this one's more like a blue green and then I'm thinking the sorry about that I'm thinking the um, rose tip one that's kind of larger with the uh, lighter green so you can put those in your pastry bags okay so we're gonna take our crumbled dirt and just gently place it on top of your cake. <laughs> so just gently do it. I built some on the side here, but best you can pick it off just gently and then what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to take a uh, paper towel and just clean up my cake board before I start piping the first succulent I'm gonna pipe on top of my cake is with the giant star tip this can be anywhere you like so you're gonna squeeze keep constant pressure build up and just keep squeezing and build it 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 stop pressure and pull away get that little top that's fine just take a little offset you push it down and that's gonna be your first little cactus bush the next second I'm gonna do is with the flower tip and you're just gonna wanna get an idea of like a little mound of where you want to go around and then just start keep pressure and then pull away I'm just gonna keep building all around open this up a little bit and I just start going in the middle pull leaf up much dimension as you can good so we're gonna pipe a desert rose on parchment and freeze it so it's easier to pick up and put onto our succulent plant and then you're gonna spiral the first one then the next three
And then five more petals. And then if you want it bigger, you can do another round of petals also. And then when this is done, I'm going to put this in the freezer to set so it's nice and hard and easy to pick up. I'm going to probably add another cactus guy right next to the other one. You can add as many as you would like. Total preference. Don't worry about the tops, we're gonna put a little flower at the top of them. And then with this green, I'm probably gonna switch it out for a tipless bag. And I'm gonna show you how to do like a draping of um, a succulent down the cake. That small star tip earlier that you have, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna put some dark green and some of the leaf green into one bag and mix it and kind of get a two-tone for the next succulent. I put two different colors in the bag to get kind of a two-tone. So this one's kind of like a spiky succulent, I guess you would say. I think I'm gonna put him like right here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep pressure and build up spikes and just go all around. Just pull it up so you get the spikes that you would out of this succulent. I don't know the names of the succulents. I have pretty much basic idea what they look like. So you just keep getting spikes all around. That one a little poopy. check on my rose in the freezer so my rose isn't quite ready yet so I'm gonna do a tipless bag now just cut a small hole and then just push the bag this way and that way to make it nice and round and I'm gonna do kind of like a draping succulent so you're gonna kind of do like teardrop shapes so what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze and then pull in, squeeze, pull in, squeeze, pull in. And you're just gonna keep going. Down the side of your pot. You get kind of like that droopy feel. So my rose is pretty much hard enough to handle, still a little soft. So what I'm going to do is take my flower scissors, the flower scissors here which help just lift it off the parchment and place it on top of my cake wherever you would like it. So you gently and then place it, close the scissors. You can use your offset to help and just gently glide them out. There's my rose. And then I have a slight little gap in there, which you can use the tipless bag again to do the same kind of plant that you did with the spiky tips. It's just they're not um, indented on it. You just squeeze, pull up.
And then over here, maybe another teardrop group. So for our cactus, you're gonna to wanna to fill a pastry bag up with some white buttercream and wash the small star tip that we used for the spiky succulent here. So you just need a small bag of white buttercream and you're gonna cut a very small hole on the top. And then make sure you crease it the other way also because this helps get a perfect little, there you go, there you can see it, perfect hole. Then you're gonna go to your cake where you have the cactus and then down the sides of the ridges that stick out, you're just gonna make little dots. Like the little spikes on a cactus. You're just gonna go around, do it on however many cactuses you made on to uh, your cake. For the final thing for the cactus, I just put some pink in with the star tip. Actually, let me cut that off a little bit. I got my teeth to show. And I'm just gonna put a little flower bud at the top of each cactus. So you squeeze, press, pull away. And there you have it. Your succulent cake. Thanks for making a succulent cake with me today. Don't forget you can order your kits at candyandcrafts.com for this class and many others. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to message me at Pastry Mama on Instagram and Facebook. You can also message Candyland Crafts. I hope you have a great day. Bye.